Hello and welcome to our weekly update and feeding of the African Nightcrawler Ben. As you can see, I finished uh, the harvesting and uh, I put in brand new coconut core that I rehydrated. And for those of you who are wondering if you can tell the difference between castings and coconut core, since it's uh, coconut core gets so dark, yeah. You can, and I don't know how it's coming out on, on film, but in person it's even more apparent. Um, this is very brown and this is very dark, but these are the pieces that are going back into the bin to uh, compost one more time. And uh, the finer, the finer uh, castings are outside in my bin. This is what's left of me, um, of the, the harvesting that needs to be uh, sifted. I'm doing this in sections since I had to take it outside, do it in the sun uh, to spot the cocoons. So this is what's left. But now these guys are, are done and I've been feeding them in this area right here. And I was very, very impressed with how they migrated. I found maybe a total of 10 worms. I didn't find any, even any babies. Um, I guess because it took the, um, it took me so long to harvest that um, they just, manage to uh, migrate and the babies hatch, a lot of the babies hatch. Um, but uh, I was really happy. My European night crawlers, it was a nightmare. They just, just didn't want to go anywhere. So I had to take them out one by one. But now these guys are are happy I'm done bothering them mostly and you can see how many more castings there are in this area since this is where they were all congregated with the food and a lot of the food at the bottom is uh, gone and now castings are left which is fine they'll have this whole area now to spread out so this is their new bedding. I always add a lot of eggshell when I just start a bin or add new, new material. Okay, so we're going to give them a nice feeding and I'll do it right in here so they'll feel Comfortable going back. Oh my goodness. Do you see the babies? <laughs> okay. So these guys are going to get some, some cantaloupe, which is their, one of their favorites. And of course, they have their coconut core, which is their carbon source. So they have new bedding, new food, and they can spread out again. Probably I should have taken the seeds out. I'm gonna get all those seeds to sprout for sure, but that's okay. Cover this up now. And that's it. And the bin is done. I put in about, I think, 20 more, 20 more cocoons into the uh, cocoon only bin. And uh, so we can say we have between 50 and 75 cocoons in the 
African Nightcrawler Cocoon Bin. So this is done. And then here I have some really nice, really nice castings. This is my mortar tray. And I know the light changes here, but it's really, it's black. <laughs> I know it comes out on the camera, it's brown, but it's really black and it's really fine. You can see how beautiful it is. The thing with this is because I always overthink things and I'm worried that maybe a few cocoons did manage to uh, fall through the fine uh, mesh that I use for sifting. I'm going to take this particular uh, uh, mortar tray, I'm going to keep it inside the house and I'm going to feed it and see if there are any cocoons that would possibly hatch because they will never survive um, our our winters and winter is coming. I mean, um, even though it doesn't get really super duper cold here, they are a tropical worm and they will not, uh, not survive 40 degree weather. At least that's the information I've received. And then this, when I have a little bit more time, I'll sift the rest of this and uh, yeah, and we'll be done. But um, this was a lot faster and a lot easier than the European Nightcrawler bin. And I really don't know why I used exactly the same method, but that worked and I'm happy. And uh, I can leave them alone now and let them do their thing. So thanks for joining me and see you next week.